Welcome back everyone. Today we've been talking about scalp problems in relationship to hair loss. Now I want to teach you about cortisol in relationship to hair loss. Yes, stress can make your hair fall out, but is cortisol really a bad thing? No, as long as it's in a healthy range. But because we live in America and with the, la with the things that have been going on for the last two years, now nah, nobody has a healthy range of cortisol, okay? So let's look at this. It's the stress hormone for good reason. But when it's in a healthy range, it helps to transport our fats and sugars into energy. That's a good thing. But too many people have elevated chronic cortisol levels that need to come down. Weight gain, impaired memory, Let's put that in the category of being scattered brain, can't focus, that's, that's really what that's about. Irritability, weak immune system. So these are, and, and not only that, get this, elevated cortisol levels, chronic elevated cortisol levels, muscle weakness, acne, and of course, hair loss. So think about this, I found it odd that acne was listed for elevated cortisol levels. So let's think about this. What did I say in the last segment? Many of you complain about having the little bumps appear on the back of your head or on the side. They could be painful, they could be hard feeling, but the thing is that could also be related to elevated cortisol levels and not just a hormonal imbalance, especially if you're on hormonal therapy. So let's look at this. <clears throat> Now cortisol is, is good when it's in a healthy range, but for probably 95% of the American public, it's never in a healthy range, it's in an elevated range. So again, I mean, I cannot tell you how many doctors I've talked to that when it comes to weight gain, they always bring up cortisol levels. Are you under stress? It's always like the first question before they ever get to your diet. Are you under stress? So there's a strong link between the two. Why? Cortisol impairs Sugar. So if healthy levels transport your sugar into energy, elevated levels do the opposite. It can cause insulin resistance or what we would basically call type 2 diabetes. Okay. So just because you got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes doesn't mean you go around telling on your friends, oh, it's just stress. It's really diet. It's reversible. Okay. Now get this. Now let's focus on the hair loss when it comes to cortisol levels. Cortisol, and I was shocked when I read this, which is why I'm sharing it with you. Cortisol impairs the growth of your hair. Okay, elevated cortisol levels can cause your hair to fall out, but it can actually impair the actual growth of the hair. Why? Here's where it shocked me. Increased or elevated cortisol levels reduces hyaluronic acid and proteoglycans in the body, mainly in the shaft of the hair. Now many of you know that I've talked about hyaluronic acid on this show many, many times in relationship to joint health, improving, reducing joint pain, uh, helping your skin to appear and be younger because as we get older we lose the hyaluronic acid out of our body as, as we age, but cortisol impairs the ability for that hyaluronic acid and the proteoglycan. So the next time you're hanging out with your friends and you want to sound really super smart, you want to sound like you're Einstein, just say the word proteoglycans and they're going to like, wow, you're super smart. Yeah, so drop those words. It'll do wonders for you in your community. Just make you sound like a genius. No, I'm just joking. Or it could actually. So, but anyway, these two are very important. These are structural components of the human body. When I mean structure, structure of your skin, structure of your ligaments, structure of your tendons, structure of the hair follicle. Okay, so I'm going to grab my marker here because we're about to try to use it here. Now, here's the other thing elevated cortisol levels cause shedding. Not basically the same way as your pet dog, okay? So your hair is falling out. You see more hair at the bottom of the drain of the, of the bathtub, the shower, the sink. It causes shedding. Why? Because cortisol messes around with the hair's growth cycle. Our hair goes through a cycle. Yeah, we're going to lose an average of 50, maybe 100 hairs a day, but 
the excessive loss is at 400 hairs a day. What's responsible for that? Well, they have a medical condition named for it. Telogen effluvium. Now, I've talked about this before on this show. Telogen effluvium is linked to severe illness. How many of you have been severely sick and your hair fell out? How many of you, how many of you had a hospital stay and your hair fell out? How many of you had surgery, you were under anesthesia, and you wonder why your hair was horrible for the next 12 months? Because anesthesia does that. So it's not just a side, it's, technically it's a side effect of anesthesia. So if you've had surgery, your hair's been falling out, and you don't know why, that's why, okay? And get this, many people don't know this. You know why they say to eat an apple a day keeps the doctor away? First of all, did you know that if you eat an apple or two every single day, it actually helps the body to get rid of any leftover anesthesia that's been left over throughout the body. Now, it may not be too bad if you were under for like 30 minutes to an hour, but if you've had major surgery in which you were out for three, four, six hours, yeah, I would definitely do a couple of apples every single day to help the body to basically detox the anesthesia out of the body. All right, get this. Telogen effluvium is not only linked or, or is caused by severe illness, it can also be caused by new birth control. So ladies, if, you're, if you switch birth control and you wonder why your hair is falling out, well, it's linked cortisol, which then goes into telogen effluvium and then creates your hair loss. Also, death in the family. Severe traumatic stress always causes your hair to fall out. My gosh, how many of us have had an episode within our lifetime, hopefully just one, some of you have had many, where you've had traumatic severe stress in your life. And, and you know, right now, I just pray for all of you who've had that problem. And maybe some of you are going through that right now. And in the name of Jesus, I pray peace over you and comfort over you. The Lord will take care of you, so don't give up, okay? Just keep praising the Lord regardless. If, if the situation just feels bleak, the Lord is not going to let you go. His hand is upon you. Remember what the Word says. Whatever you're concerned with, the Lord is concerned with also. He is concerned with every element of your life. Every emotion you're going through, He knows it. So just turn to Him. He is going to make it better, I promise, okay? The Word says, the whole, did you know from Genesis to Revelation, the whole book is a promise. So stand on it. All right. Last but not least, high cortisol levels relationship to your hormone levels because cortisol is produced by the adrenal glands and the adrenals ladies and gentlemen especially you ladies when you start getting over the age of 40 your hormone shift from your ovaries to your adrenal glands okay so there's going to be this slow shift in your body and when that slow shift happens many of you ladies are like what is going on with me because most women think the hormonal shift happens between ages of 50 and 60. It actually happens between the ages of 40 and 41, so slowly that it starts to wreck havoc. You know, it's kind of like the old joke, hey, once you hit 40, it's all downhill from there. That's why, and that's, where that's, that's why that saying was created, is because the hormonal shift in your body is going from your ovaries to your adrenals. When that happens, if your hair starts, starts to fall out across the crown, we call it androgenetic alopecia. Alopecia is just a fancy word for hair loss, okay? So again, androgenetic alopecia is also known as female pattern baldness. Same way as men, it's the peaks, okay? That's when the hair starts to go back on in, in, into the corners. But guess what? There's an actual solution to that. But I'm not going to tell you the solution right now because you got to stick around for the rest of the show because in the last segment of this program, after this short break, I'm going to come back to you and give you the full-blown solution to elevated cortisol levels that cause hair loss. But guess what? There's going to be a lot more healthy bonuses coming right at you right after this. 
Are you stressed, full of anxiety, your mind never seems to be calm or at peace? These are all caused by elevated cortisol levels. Cortisol is the hormone responsible for stress and a rare hormone in that it is one of the few that increases with age. It is believed that high cortisol levels lead to accelerated aging and over a lifetime, cortisol damages your brain, muscle, bone, skin, and yes, your immune system. Gerovital 3 is used for reducing stress by lowering cortisol, anti-aging, mild depression, emotional stability. Call Primrose Leaf today for Gerovital 3, the real GH3. Call 844-926-0007. Buy two bottles and get your third bottle free. Buy today and share with a friend. Buy two bottles of Gerovital 3 and get your third bottle free. 844-926-0007. We all deserve to age gracefully and with our memory sharp and our immune system functioning at its best. 